Hello, I'm Kevin Bully. I'm the CEO and President of NIRAC Incorporated, a business that's located in Tallinn. It is a uh, research and advisory services business uh, providing uh, guidance globally in a variety of technical areas. As if being the CEO of a, a high-tech company wasn't enough, in my spare time, uh, given that my interests lie both in economic development and in entrepreneurship specifically, located inside the belly of the NIRAC building, you'll find a business acceleration environment. And this is an environment that we've created to host a number of high-tech startup companies, uh, each of them uh, with space and relationships that tie them back to the University of Connecticut, either in terms of the B School or in terms of the engineering school, but also an environment within which they have the benefit of people who are just like me, who are providing mentorship and guidance, uh, helping them to develop and grow these particular businesses uh, that become the underpinnings of a growth economy. These particular businesses are primarily software and software development oriented. That's particularly because my background is in that particular area and I'm familiar with it. But the, nat the nature of this environment is such that it capitalizes on relationships uh, that are found within the local community and business development. Uh, far too many people don't understand enough about the nature of entrepreneurship or entrepreneurial environments, the nature of how innovation and discovery can propel careers and career decisions. The, the experiences that you have in this area uh, tend to broaden your horizons and uh, provide you with insights into opportunities that might not otherwise be seen. It is not unusual for folks uh, in an academic environment looking at the nature of their training and their schooling to think that the objective after graduation is to find a good paying job. Uh, the reality though is that wealth creation and the, the accumulation of wealth is most likely found in areas where the capital, in effect, is owned by you or being created by you. And generally, that can be found primarily in both innovation and entrepreneurship. So when looking at the nature of how uh, innovation and entrepreneurship come together and are applied, it is in the nature of solving problems, uh, providing uh, a better product or a better service for a marketplace environment in a way that allows you, the entrepreneur, to extract value. In my particular case, uh, I was an average student, uh, B and C student, but who was intent on exploiting a business opportunity. The, the wealth of talent that is available here, the, the ability as uh, an undergraduate or a graduate uh, to tap into a network of talent to exploit new ideas, to explore new opportunities, surrounds you. And I would encourage you to keep your mind and your eyes and your ears open to the kinds of possibilities that excite you. Because with that passion uh, and with the, the, the curiosity and the thirst for knowledge uh, will come discoveries that lead you down a path uh, that could be quite remarkable. You know, when I look at my own particular experiences and when I look at uh, the path uh, that for me has proved to be successful, uh, I'm, I'm humbled by the number of failures uh, that I experienced along that path and how each of those failures represented for me a learning opportunity. I benefited more from the nature of the things that failed than from the characteristics oftentimes of those things that proved to be successful. I'm often asked about the, uh, the characteristics of uh, an entrepreneurial mind or an entrepreneurial lifestyle. What are the things that it takes to be an entrepreneur? And you know, what typical path would be the, the, the best path or the best practices uh, to launch a business or to be successful in business? There are no right answers. There are no uh, single answers to those types of questions. Uh, there are many, many paths, uh, but the characteristics of the individuals that exploit those paths uh, are fairly common. The ability to understand, to compartmentalize, and to manage risk uh, is an important consideration because the ability to manage risks allows you to make decisions in the face of uncertain information or uncertain outcomes. You can't be afraid to fail, uh, and you have to have the willingness to manage that risk so that the things that you learn can be later then folded into uh, other opportunities or other successes that you might 
wish to seek to explore. Uh, one of the other characteristics is an innate curiosity, both about the way things are and an imagination as to the way things might be. Uh, sometimes the, the nature of exploiting a marketplace opportunity is seeing something that other people have failed to see, even though it was right there in front of them, present for all the world to see, all the time. Seeing things that are today characterized as problems or challenges or impasses instead as opportunities and being able to put your mind to work in divining a solution or in approaching that problem in a way that you can come up with something that makes sense in the marketplace are characteristics of entrepreneurs. The, the successful entrepreneur, however, isn't someone who necessarily is all things uh, and, and skilled at all the required elements uh, in a business. Uh, they have the ability to surround themselves with people and with talent who, quite frankly, complement their own, in some cases, challenge their own skill set and talents in a way that uh, creates a situation where the whole is much, much greater than the sum of the individual parts. And I would uh, argue that my own individual su success is in no small way uh, uh, attributable to the people who surround me. So I'm a product of that environment. There is nothing that I can characterize that is more rewarding than the nature of running a business. That's, that's what does it for me. It's fun. <laughs>